So refile, this is something that's been uh, unasked. A lot of clients are calling in and saying, I heard that uh, you can refile a return uh, in T1. We know we can do it in T2. We want to be able to do it in T1. And it's a great function that's been added this year. It saves you time from doing that uh, T1 adjustment where you have to fill in the T1 adjustment form, making sure that you put in uh, what's changed within the return uh, and so on and so forth. So this is a great alternative to make that process much quicker and it's called refile. So let me just talk about that at uh, just a quick description of what it is. It enables you to uh, send T1 adjustments online for a 2016 uh, return. It also applies now to 2015. So just uh, as a quick note, please know that it's also for 2015 and 2016. The refile service lets you change the same lines that you would do in a change my return when you log into my account. What, uh, who can use it? Of course, the, uh, per, the tax preparers like yourselves, and you have to have the latest version. I believe uh, 4.7 and above enables you to do the refile a service. If you're up to date, you'll probably be on the 5.0, uh, then you're good to go when it comes to using this functionality. Please remember you need a level 2 authorization from your client and the initial return was filed online or e-filed. Uh, so you have to make sure that that's been done first before you can use this refile uh, functionality. Uh, with this, which tax years are supported, like I mentioned, 2015 and 2016, and in the future, hopefully, uh, according to CRA, we may be able to expand that to, to more years. And there's some frequently asked questions at the end, which I will mention and talk through. Uh, so these are the steps on what to do with refile. Of course, you'd have to open a profile. You'd have to have a return that you've already filed online and uh, you've already received a assessment from CRA. So those are key, key notes that you need to know or key steps that uh, you need to know before you can proceed with refile. Enter the new uh, information. So for example, uh, a great example is the T4. You might have missed a slip or uh, the amount uh, was inputted incorrectly and you want to uh, fix that or you want to amend that, then uh, you would go ahead and make the change. And once you've made the change, this is something that I underline because this is important to have. If you want the original and you want the refile version, it's good to have two different copies of that. So you'll have the original so that you have a reference of what you've changed or what numbers you've changed from the original and then do a save as and just add in the file name within the file name refile or uh, amended uh, T1 re uh, amended uh, T1 or amended T4 or whatever you'd like to rename it to but at least rename it to something that is different from the original that way you have the original copy and the amended copy. Okay. You would have to complete the T1 request or refile request form. And then from there, you would have to uh, do the date of refile. And is this an amended tax return? You would have to indicate yes. If you don't indicate yes, it will produce an error when you attempt to refile. Okay, before I proceed, I will let you, I'll show you where that is within the return. I'm just going to go back to that 2016 return. And, of course, you would have to go to T1 refile. Okay, you could also do a search in case you don't have the return. Just T1 RE and profile will suggest the form and it's right there. T1 refile is the name of the form. Here it is. And then just put the date. For example, it's today. Uh, I believe today's date is 06. And then once you put the date in, is this an amended return? Yes. 
and then you can fill in this information here if it's if you have the information is this necessary for you to fill out it's not a requirement but it is important to indicate these data refile is this an amended tax return and then now when you go back to the T183 on the top you'll notice that there is an R and that means that this is a refile of this return so when you send this in of course you'd have to get this redone because you're redoing the return make sure you get these documents uh, signed and printed or printed and signed and then that way you have a, a copy that you've refiled the return for this client okay so as I mentioned uh, you'll answer the uh, questions in the form and they are not mandatory uh, to be uh, filled in okay verifying the T1013 uh, authorizing a client so you have to make sure that you indicate level 2 on the 1013 and must be refiled so you have to file this to CRA again to let them know that you're doing uh, or authorizing for refile uh, transmission okay and you update the T183 so if you want to refile you would have to indicate that on the tick box which I have here so want to refile like you e-file and you would tick that box let me just bring up profile again and the T183 and it's at the bottom here want to refile like you refile and you would just tick that box and fill out any information uh, in accordance to your uh, authorization okay now before I proceed I want to mention that uh, the 2015 so if I go to my T183 you want to refile your 2015 uh, you don't have that option for refile okay you'd have to do it to through the 2016 you do have the T1 refile request so you can fill in fill this in Okay. And now if I go to the T183, it's now an R. Okay, and that's how you would uh, that's how you would proceed with the 2015 refile. Okay. As I mentioned, the R will uh, show in the T183 and it's a new designation that uh, it's a refile. Okay. Oops. Okay, so now you're ready to, uh, now that you're prepared to refile the return, it's the same process as e-filing the return. You just go under the e-file menu and then the option e-file refile this return. You just click on to that. Of course, remember, please save the uh, refiled or amended return as a separate return uh, with an addition of refile or amended in the file name and then you can refile the return. Make sure also you get your authorizations done, T183, 1013, that all done before you uh, proceed with this step. Okay, good. And you'll get this uh, as if you uh, e-filed, you'll get the, the green that it's successful uh, and you can confirm that. So with the confirmation, uh, you can go to the information page which is the info page and there's a section here under uh, filing for the T1 e-file refile confirmation number also available in the 2016 go to the info page and it's right there you'll get a confirmation number here uh, once it's successful and you'll have that as a reference for your refile return You can also check it under the uh, properties. This is actually under file, properties, and it will come up under this window here under action that you've uh, e-filed the return and it's been accepted. Okay, just like that uh, screenshot here, T1 e-file accepted. 
Okay, so let's get into the frequently asked questions and then I'll be able to cover the questions that you've posted online. Uh, so uh, does refile submit only the new or updated added to return? No, refile will submit the new and or updated and resubmit any existing information remaining from the return's original e-file. Can I use refile for return after filing deadline has passed? Uh, this was an old question. Yes, you can. You can e-file at this time, uh, even after the, the sorry e-file e deadline of uh, April 31st. You can still use this option. Is refile available for Quebec returns? Um, not at the moment. Sorry, Quebec uh, return prepares. Can prepares batch refile returns? Of course you can. Uh, through the, the database, the Client Explorer, you can do a batch refile. Is it possible to get a summary for changes to return that were refiled? Uh, there's no refile summary feature available at this moment. It's recommended that you save a copy of the original return uh, that was e-filed and also the refiled return. So remember I mentioned save two, two files of that uh, return, one as the original and the other one as the amended. Can I do a refile on a paper return? Uh, no, you can't. It's not possible. Does the refile status of return display in Hub? At the moment, um, it says no. It's actually, um, let me show you in case for those that are not familiar with Hub, it's going to bring that up. It's the uh, third option that we have for, uh, for database. It's a quick view of the uh, returns. Uh, at the moment, that option is not available, but there are a few uh, columns here that we've added just in case you haven't seen Hub. We have the CRA uh, import comments and the status I believe was there in the past, but this is a new column in case you wanted to know. So I just wanted to double check that. So currently it's not available in Hub. How many times can I undertake a refile for e-file return? There really isn't a, a limit, but there's going to be times where CRA won't accept the refile returns because you've assessed it more than nine times. Uh, those reassessments, uh, if in that case, if you reach that amount of reassessments, then you may have to do the T1 adjustment in paper. Okay. If you get an error uh, that uh, the e-file return has not been assessed, does this mean I cannot refile? The answer for that is a return ha was e-filed must have been assessed by CRA before refile is possible. Check your My Account feature on the CRA website for the status of that e-filed return. So maybe give it some time before you uh, use the refile feature. Okay. Getting more information, of course, you can go to the uh, CRA website under refile and it will talk about the online T1 adjustments for e-file service. Uh, so some great uh, more information here uh, when it comes to in-depth explanation. Okay. It also talks about exclusions there so you may want to take a look at that in case you're not too familiar with the refile. Okay, okay so uh, this is a support information in case you need to get a hold of us. I put in the 1-800 number. You can also reach out to us via chat or email. We love answering your questions from there. And we also have a support page that uh, you can type in your answer or your question here and you'll get an answer. For example, uh, refile. Let's see if anything comes up. And so you have your online T1 adjustment uh, article and there's also the express NOA. So this gives you uh, pretty much the step-by-step -step or the information that I've given you uh, through this webinar. If you prefer to look at it and read it step-by-step, -step, then I would suggest going to our support page and taking a look at this article. Okay. For Intuit Profile, this is Jeffrey. Thank you for watching this video.